In this movie, we'll cover drawing and editing your model in a bit more detail. You can edit some aspects of the design of street corners. If we zoom in on a node, if two adjacent routes have a pavement at the edge, then CityCAD will create a curb here. This is the curb, and this is the highway boundary. If you select a node, then its properties will appear on the right. You can use the Corners subgroup to change the appearance of block corners next to the node. For example, we can change the curb radius down to 2 metres and can change the highway boundary, which is the block itself, to a chamfered corner. You can also change the level of a node by typing here. In this way, you can model master plans on sites with hills. If you go to View Menu, Root Shading by Gradient and show the legend, then you can see the roots are shaded according to how steep they are. You can use this to quickly visualise accessible roots within your master plan. To change your master plan, use the Modify tool. You can drag elements like this. In this example, the shading changes if the root gradient becomes less steep. You can also move elements more precisely. For example, if you select this node, hold down the control key and click at a base point, then you can then draw a line more precisely for moving the selected element. When moving elements in this way, you can type a distance as if you're drawing a route like this. We can restore the default shading by going back to the view menu, root shading, then default. When drawing perimeter terraced housing or mixed use perimeter blocks, by default the same depth is used on each side of the block. However, you can override this by using the root properties. In this example, if we want to have a thicker building next to the main road, we can select this route, go to adjacent blocks and override the block depth to 30 meters. You can also set the block depth to zero in order to create U-shaped or L-shaped blocks. However, please note you cannot create more than one gap in a perimeter block using this method. If we choose the root tool, then deselect everything, then the default root properties can be edited here. These default root properties are applied to any new routes which you draw. Select boundary route from the street library. This is a route with no streetscape elements. You can use this to draw routes which subdivide existing blocks, like this open space block. If you want to draw a building or block layout that cannot be drawn using the conceptual block tools, then you can use the boundary root tool to draw building outlines more precisely. For more information, please see the help files which can be accessed by pressing F1 when using CityCAD.